Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today's question is In a village of 1000 people, if 100 are suffering from sickle cell anemia and autosomal recessive genetic disorder, what are? And here we have three questions. In order to solve this population genetics problem, all we need to know is just Hardy-Weinberg formula. Uh, where frequency of the three genotypes, which can be produced by two alleles, would equal to p squared plus 2pq plus q squared, and all this would equal to 1. And here in this formula, p squared stands for the homozygous dominant genotype, 2pq stands for the heterozygous genotype and Q squared stands for the homozygous recessive genotype. So basically in this population, as you see, we have just two alleles, dominant allele A, which is normal and recessive allele A, which is um, produced in homozygous recessive state, uh, this genetic disorder. And uh, so we have only two alleles in this population, allele uh, P and Q. According to the formula, P plus Q would equal to one. And in our formula for the uh, P allele stand dominant allele A, for the Q stand recessive allele A. If you uh, used to um, these letters instead of uh, these letters. Now it would be much easier for you. Again, in this population only two alleles and these two alleles in can produce different combinations. So we would have three genotypes. Now uh, we have absolute number, numbers of people, 1000 people in a village and 100 of them suffering from this genetic disorder. That means they belong to this uh, genotype and this phenotype. So 100 people would belong to this genotype. Another 900 people would belong to one of these genotypes. So 900 people together is going to be 1000. So how we are going to find the frequency of the dominant and recessive allele? Uh, all we have to do, just to take a square root of um, frequency. So now we have uh, absolute numbers here, absolute number of people here. Let's convert them into frequency. So we can say uh, that proportion would be 90% and 10% or uh, it's going to be 0 0.9 and 0 0.1, 90% and 10%. And we have one uh, just like in our formula. So we have to take a square root of 0 0.1 in order to find a frequency of the recessive allele A. And uh, basically this number 0 0.1 is a frequency of the genotype which is small a, small a. And if we take a square root of 0 0.1, we are going to get 0 0.316. And this is going to be uh, rounded number. So now when we know the frequency of the recessive allele, we can find the frequency of the dominant allele. Take a look. 0 0.316. So that means that frequency of the allele P or dominant allele A would be 0 0.68. I hope you understand how I got the frequency of the dominant allele. If you know frequency of the recessive allele and recessive allele plus dominant allele should equal to one, that means that difference between one 
minus 0.16 would be this number frequency of the dominant allele. Now uh, we can find frequency of all three genotypes. So frequency of the homozygous dominant genotype would be uh, so capital A capital A would equal to P squared and also would equal to 0 0.684 multiplied by itself 0 0.47 and frequency of the heterozygous genotype. So let's put this number here, 0 0.47. And frequency of the heterozygous genotype, which is capital A, small a, and in our formula, 2PQ stands for this hetero frequency of the heterozygous genotype would equal to 2 multiplied by frequency of the allele P or dominant allele A, which is 0 0.684, and multiplied by frequency of the recessive allele, which is 0 0.316. And the answer is going to be 0 0.43. And now we can find frequency of the homozygous recessive genotype, but uh, we already know this frequency, uh, which is 0 0.1. So again, frequency of the heterozygous genotype would be 0 0.43 and 0 0.1 here. If we add all these three frequencies, as you see, we are going to get 1. And if you need an answer in percentage form, uh, we just have to multiply this uh, numbers by 100 and we are going to get 47%, 43% and 10%. So now let's uh, answer our questions. Frequency of the sickle cell allele and this is going to be a frequency of the sickle cell allele which is 0 0.316 0 0.316 number of carriers in a village. Please pay attention that uh, in this question we are asked about frequency and in the second question we ask about number and num uh, frequency of the, uh, those people who are carriers. Uh, here we have this number, which is 0 0.43, but we need a number of people. So if we have 43% people who are carriers out of 1000, this is going to be 430. 430 people would be carriers. And um, question C, normal allele frequency. Uh, this is going to be frequency of the normal allele, which is dominant allele, A, or in our formula it is P, which is 0 0.684. 0 0.684. Again, if you need an answer in percentage form, this is going to be 31.6% and 68.4%. We just have to multiply these numbers by 100 because we do all our calculations on the scale between uh, 0 and 1 and if you need an answer on the scale between 0 and 100 percent we just have to multiply our numbers by 100. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day and see you in the next video. Goodbye.